Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to and weather as you start your day. A 29 year old woman from Marty, South Dakota is dead following a crash Thanksgiving morning south of Wagner. The highway patrol says the woman went into the ditch near 395th Avenue and 305th Street, vaulted over the culvert and rolled. She was ejected from the car and suffered fatal injuries. Highway patrol says she was not wearing her seatbelt. Her name has not been released pending notification of family members. Following several reports of a shooting in Wagner on Wednesday morning, the police department has taken to social media. They confirmed an incident happened on tribal jurisdiction posting on Facebook. Wagner Police Department is receiving numerous calls of an active shooter. There is no active shooter at all. There was an incident that happened on tribal jurisdiction. We at Wagner PD are assisting tribal and federal units. The community is safe and there's no danger. And you can stay with Kelloland online and on here for any updates. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue responded to a garage fire Wednesday afternoon. Units were dispatched at around 4.30 p.m. to the west side near Chickadee Place where they discovered smoke and an active fire in an unattached garage. Crews put out the fire within 15 minutes and the garage received moderate damage. There were no injuries reported and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Now let's head over to the Kelloland Live Doppler Storm Center for a look at this morning's weather. Good morning, Brian. All right, good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. On this Black Friday, it looks like a cold forecast today. Temperature at 23 in Sioux Falls, mostly sunny. Six Aberdeen, 24 in Pier, and 28 degrees in Rapid City. Just a few passing clouds, but overall, uh, not too bad on the wind. That is certainly helpful. It looks like a cold weekend ahead. We'll get into the details of that part of the forecast coming up. Thank you, Brian. If you're looking for ways to give back this upcoming Giving Tuesday, an online bulletin board could help you out. It's called The Giving Depot, a resource made available by the Sioux Falls Area Community Foundation. Nonprofits can post about their projects and how the community can help out. You go online and you can scroll. We're all used to scrolling online as we purchase, but you can look and see what opportunities are interesting to you. We point right to the nonprofit's website, so we link to that nonprofit site. So they have a little blurb about who they are and what they're trying to raise funds for. The service is free for nonprofits to post on the Giving Depot. The 26th annual Rapid City Festival of Lights will start at 6 p.m. tomorrow. It includes a parade of floats covered in festive lights and hot cocoa for the people watching in person. We'll be live streaming it this weekend on Kelloland.com. Meanwhile, thousands of people are expected to fill downtown Sioux Falls tonight for the 32nd annual Parade of Lights. The parade starts at 730 and runs along Phillips Avenue from 13th to 5th Street. This year, there are 82 floats in the parade with 40,000 people expected to attend. Kelloland News will be broadcasting the parade on Kello Extra and live streaming it on Kelloland.com. Kelloland Sports Director Grant Sweeter and meteorologist Scott Munt will anchor our coverage. Grant and Scott will also help Kelloland Media Group light its annual holodeck tower just before 5.30 tonight. That will air on Kelloland TV. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. All right, yeah, it'll be uh, chilly when they're lighting up the holodeck. And yeah, chilly, cold, crisp, if you want to call it that, throughout the parade. But that's the way it often is, isn't it? 15, our temperature there at 7 o'clock, downtown Sioux Falls. Light winds, though, that's helpful. Keep that wind down, and as long as you're dressed for the weather, uh, that'll make a big difference here. Let's take a look at the weather forecast then as we uh, bring up future cast today and those readings this afternoon in Sioux Falls in the lower 20s. And we are expecting the numbers in the west a little warmer than that. Some low 30s out toward Hot Springs and Pine Ridge. Forecast for tonight, we're going to see more single digits above and below zero. East River, uh, Aberdeen in particular, probably down to uh, at least one or two degrees below zero. A little snow, though, can come back. There's a hint of that tomorrow. Uh, a strip of light snow and flurries throughout the middle of South Dakota, maybe extending towards Sioux Falls. And if you miss out on that, then maybe another chance of a little Christmas-like snow getting into Sunday. we got at least two of these systems coming in from the northwest. That is the pattern right now as uh, we feature it here. So you can see the marquee there for that. A uh, little bit of snow on that trough. And then there's that low pressure center up in North Dakota. These things are pretty weak and they just don't have much moisture to work with. So there are no headlines with any of it. But can it be enough for a few locations to get a light coating 
on the grass, absolutely. And uh, we'll count for that again on Sunday. After that, then, we start... as uh, the weather begins to moderate. But it's going to be back and forth in December. I'm, I'm already seeing a lot of evidence supporting uh, temperatures swinging a lot. So that's how we're starting the forecast, kind of on the cold side. Then we'll get a moderation. We'll probably get some 40s the middle of next week. Not a lot of moisture in a northwest slow pattern, though. So even though there's a little snow here and there, we're not talking about any big storms at all for now. Looks like for Aberdeen in the northeast, also temperatures in the mid to upper teens through Monday. 29 by Tuesday and 38 on Wednesday. And I expect here in central South Dakota to warm back into the 30s by Sunday and uh, 40s by the middle of next week. And even warmer than that in Rapid City, we're off and running here to 51 Tuesday and 55 by Wednesday. Check out more details. They're available online at kebbleland.com.